impact landing. No impact landing is kind of something that's been discovered recently, and when I say recently, it's probably like, um, well, it, it was known for a while, but it wasn't popular until around probably EVO 2013, and I'm going to switch Fox out for another character really quick. <clears throat> no impact landing is, uh... It's, it's like when your character comes in contact with the ground at the apex of their jump. So, when, when I reach the top of my jump, um, Marth kind of like does a little flip and makes it so he kind of scrunches like that, which makes it easier to do no impact landings. But first, let me demonstrate what a uh, what a regular landing on this top platform will look like. So you know, this is just me, just jumping. You know, when I hit the ground, there's there's some poofies, see little poofies, white poofies. And uh, when I hit the ground, I have about three frames of lag, three frames of recovery time before I can do a move. And the poofies let me know that I did not hit a no impact landing. So, when I do hit a no impact landing, uh, just as a visual cue first, just look for the poofies. So, let me get Falcon up there. So, see poofies. When he lands, there's poofies. When I no impact land, my character just stands. And there's no poofies. And when there's no poofies, that lets me know that that three frame recovery time is now zero frames and I can act immediately out of it. Oops. Just like that. Can even grab him. Can even forward oh. Can even forward smash. Or even phase back through immediately. Oops. So yeah. So see how oh wow that's awkward. Hey, he's doing the thriller dance. So see how <clears throat> there's no poofies when I land. And there's there's poofies here. And I'm just gonna hold shield after I uh after I land. So that's that's how fast it is with uh with a no impact land. So that's 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 really how quick the recovery time is. So this is this is how quick it is with poofies. It's way slower. So I, I have to hit the ground and then shield first. It's it's pretty bad to you know, comparatively it's it's pretty bad. And being able to attain like a control of a platform with zero lag by just jumping up to it is super advantageous, especially when someone is up there. Uh, and you want to juggle them, like against uh, a fox or a falco. You can no impact land grab. It's, it's like, that's crazy. No impact land grab into a chain grab on the top platform. It's like a free 45%. So no impact lands can be done anywhere where there's a piece of ground. So that includes the ledge. You can do ledge hops like this. And I'm getting no impact <coughs> I'm getting no impact lands. And I can just act out immediate, immediately, just like that. Now, if I were to ledge hop, uh, oh, why can't I ledge hop? Okay. If I were to ledge hop just like that, oh my god, am I? Can I not? Can I physically not ledge hop anymore? Like, what is this? Uh, okay. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Just being able to... I, I got a few, there we go. When the poofies show up. Um, there's there's that three frame lag window. Uh, additionally, this is just very, very tricky. It looks like he's in the middle of his, his flip. And I could just cover half the stage by doing a no impact land to dash attack. Look at that. Something like that, or a grab. Crazy range. You know, there's there's tons of things that you can do out of this, just because it, it resets you back to neutral. But um, for Marth, I think that doing a no impact land to down tilt, or doing a no impact land to forward smash up from the ledge, 
is really good at commanding space. Um, you know, you can also do a, a no impact lands to wave dash forward into anything that you please. And the emphasis of the no impact land from the ledge is stage control. And it's, it's rarely ever to gain an offensive position. Uh, offensive positions like can come from it, but it's pretty rare. And you should use the technique sparingly, because if they catch you mid-jump uh, on your way up, and they hit you back off the stage, you no longer have your double jump. You're going to be forced to up B, and you might die, so be careful. This was like, that was like one of my gimmicks for a long time when I was first starting. And then Zoo caught onto it and really punished me hard for it by doing laser forward tilts to beat it. It was pretty interesting. We both, one tournament, both designed just new tech to beat each other at the same time as the set progressed. It was great. <coughs> so yeah, another great advantage is just the ability to be mobile outside of it. And... See, I can no impact land here, dash right out of it. Do a, do a forward smash or something. And every character can do this. Falcon, the reason why I picked Falcon is because he has a, a pretty cool one on the top platform of Fountain of Dreams and Yoshi Story. Uh, and it's pretty crazy, and I love to demonstrate it because it just blows people's minds. Except now, because I've, I've hyped it up so much. Kidding. Uh, so yeah, as as I neutral jump right here, it's like I I barely don't make it on top of the platform. My boots barely skim under it, and I can try and try, and it'll just never happen. But if I decide to be acrobatic and instead do a backwards jump, suddenly I know impact land. It's crazy, man. It's <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like soccer, I thought this out way too hard. Or didn't think it out at all. But yeah, the reason why it works like this is because when I jump neutral, uh, I don't scrunch. But when I when I jump backwards, see, I'm I'm an acrobat, and I'm my booty's parallel to the uh, the stage, and so I just uh, just no impact land. It's amazing. Yeah, so you guys can try that one out. That one's a lot of fun to just screw around with. And you want to like screw with your friends, you just jump at them, or you uh, you run at them, jump backwards, and you're at the top. Okay. Backwards jump poofy cancel. That's what it's really called. You're right. Shoutouts to backwards jump poofy cancel. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. So 